Hello students, in this video I will go through simplifying uh, expressions involving the quotient rule for exponents. Let's take a look. So the uh, instructions here says to simplify and um, our final answer should be left with no negative exponents. We have to leave our answers in, with only positive exponents. Let's take a look at this guy right here. I have 4m squared n to the negative 1 over m to the third times n to the negative 3. So remember, we are, this is a quotient. I see that this 4 here has no common factor with the denominator, so that stays up there. And m squared over m to the third, this is equivalent to m to the 2 minus 3, which is m to the negative 1. And then n to the negative 1 divided by n to the negative 3, that's equivalent to n to the negative 1 minus negative 3, or it's really n to the second, right? Negative 1 minus negative 3 is n to the second. So re-expressing this, this is equivalent to 4n squared over m because m to the negative 1 is 1 over m. Let's do that again. So I see here I have 4 thirds here, so that's 4 thirds. And then I'm going to go and look at this. I have x squared and x to the third. So that's equivalent to x to the 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. Next I have y to the third y to the negative 3 over y, which is equivalent to y to the negative 3 minus 1, which is y to the negative 4th. Next, I have z to the 3rd over z to the 3rd. That's just z to the 0th then. So this is equivalent to 4 thirds times 1 over x times 1 over y to the 4th. Or in other words, this is really 4 thirds, 4 over 3, x, y to the 4th. Let's take a look at the next one. So again, I just have a 4 here, so I'll just write 4. And m squared over m to the negative 1 is equivalent to m to the 2nd minus negative 1, or m to the 3rd p to the third over p to the fourth, that's p to the negative one. So this is 4m to the third over p. I see here I have two and two, they cancel. The y and y, they cancel. x to the fourth, z to the second over z to the, well, z to the zeroth here, right, is just one. So really, my final answer is just x to the fourth over z squared. Okay. Moving on. Four, and t four divided by two is two. I'm moving across, starting with a. So a over a to the fourth is a to the negative three. I don't have any b's in the denominator, so it's b to the negative 4. And then c is, uh, I have a c to the negative 1 in the numerator and c to the first in the denominator. That becomes c to the negative 2, because negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. This is equivalent to 2 over a to the third, b to the fourth, c squared. All right, moving on. I have three in the numerator, which does not have a common factor with the denominator four. So I write three fourths. Y to the third over Y, that's Y to the second. I don't have a, a Z in the denominator, so that's Z to the third x to the third is only, uh, I only have x's in the denominator, so that's 
uh, that's 1 over x to the third, right? Or this is equivalent to 3y squared z to the third over x to the third, 4x to the third. All right, moving on. 3 and 2, it's 3 halves. I don't have any uh, I don't have any x's here, but x to the 0 is really 1, so I can get rid of that. And then I have x to the negative 2. And then I have a y to the negative 2. y to the negative 2, well, it's technically y to the 0th, right, over y to the negative 2. So therefore, I have y to the positive 2, right? Because 0 minus negative 2 is positive 2. And then I have a z div uh, divided by z to the negative 2. That's equivalent to z to the third. So this boils down to 3 over 2x squared, y squared, z to the third. The threes cancel here. I don't have any a's, so it's a to the third. b to the fourth over b to the fourth, well, that's just one, right? Or b to the zeroth. I'll write b to the zeroth. c over c minus, uh, c over c to the third, that's c to the negative two. So it's a to the third over c squared. Moving on, 2 over 4 is 1 half. I don't have any a's in the numerator, so that's a to the negative 2, right? Because a to the 0 minus a to the, I mean, divided by a to the second, that's just a to the negative 2. I have b to the third. And then c to the negative 3 minus negative 2, that's negative 1. So re-expressing this, this is 1 over 2 a squared. I'm sorry, not 1, because this guy here is positive. So I have a b to the third in the numerator. 2 a squared times c. That's my final answer there. All right. Uh, I don't have any common factors in the numerator, so that's 1 fourth. I don't have any x's in the numerator, so that's x to the negative 3. y's, y to the 3rd over y to the 4th, that's equivalent to y to the negative 1. z to the negative 4 over z to the 4th, that's z to the negative 8. This is equivalent to 1 over 4x to the 3rd, y, z to the 8th. Four is only the only uh, factor that I have up top. M to the zeroth over m squared. That's m to the negative two. P to the third over p squared. That's p. Q to the negative three over q to the zero. That's q to the negative three. Re-express all of this. This is equivalent to four over. I mean, sorry, four p over m squared q to the third.